one of the most important relationships is not with your parents, it's not with your spouse, and it's definitely not with your kids. The most important relationship is with yourself. And understanding that relationship with yourself, it's amazing because once you understand that that's the most important relationship and that's one of the only relationships that you'll have for the rest of your life. You'll think about yourself and treat yourself a lot differently. See this relationship that we have with ourselves, not only is the most important, but it's the one that's always disrespected. Yeah, you heard that right. It's the one that's always getting disrespected from people you date, from family members, even your own children. And because of this disrespect, we put ourselves in situations where now we have childhood trauma, now we have shadow work to do. Now we have to deal with insecurities. That's why I came up with an ebook about insecurities. Um, we start losing our individual self. So the individuality that we had before these relationships, before we had children, before we had um, a spouse or a boyfriend or a girlfriend, you know, we lose ourselves in people and we take ourselves for granted. And then these people come back and they disrespect us, right? And not all relationships last so this is just for the sake of this video right but just to give you the perspective we allow different people and it don't have to be people you date it don't have to be your kids it don't have to be your parents it could be just anybody even people you work with or people you just encounter but see we allow people to disrespect ourselves which is the most important relationship is what we have with ourselves right our spirit our ego and once this relationship is disrespected we have to do all this work to trust ourselves again, to start love loving ourselves again. And it's hard. It's fucking hard because the more you allow shit to happen and you don't sit down and think and correct, right? Or move on or move forward from, you just allow the shit to continue to happen and it starts building up and building up and building up. It's like, it's hard for you to trust yourself, right? Again, and it's hard for you to start loving yourself, you know? And then when you start loving yourself, you know, it can happen again because this is, life it's not just about at least when it comes about life it's not oh i'm just gonna do shadow work and that's it it's it's done i don't have to do it again it doesn't work that way you have to continue to do this work it doesn't stop there it doesn't you know it, it's not something that just you can just get rid of and it's not just the shadow work it's everything else that comes along it's it's understanding your emotions you know and finding yourself and that's why I came up with another ebook about individuality. Um, just because in that ebook, it talks about how, you know, before we became a parent, before we became somebody's spouse, we were an individual. Then I came up with the ebook about insecurity because because of these relationships, it makes us feel insecure. And even if you try to deny it, you know you've been insecure some way and somehow in your lifetime. You know, and it's hard to get away from being insecure and having low confidence, right? And then I came up with the ebook of the shadow work, which was one of my first ebooks, just because you have to do the work. You have to do the work within yourself. Like I said, this is the most important relationship is with yourself. Nobody is going to love you like you love yourself. Like I said, it's one of the most important relationships, but it's also one of the hardest relationships because we don't, we don't cherish ourselves. We don't respect ourselves enough to understand that this relationship is the most important one. We respect everybody else's relationship and we go above and beyond for everybody else just to make other people happy, but we don't do the same for ourselves. And going back on the individuality, you know, we do lose ourselves, whether you're a mom or a dad, you lose yourself within that, you know? And then on top of you being a parent, you also lose yourself within the relationship, whether you're married, you start losing yourself because now you are sharing your individuality with the other person, but it shouldn't be like that. It should be, we all meet up in the middle, you know, and you should always find, find time for yourself and your spouse should always find time for themselves. And that was the point of these eBooks. It's, it's about inner work. It's about working within yourself. It's not about, oh, I know this. Okay, you know this, then what the fuck are you doing? You know, if you know this, why you continue to allow this to continue to happen in your life.